Welcome to the X-Series in-service video. This overview serves as an adjunct to formal training. You must obtain formal training from an appropriate authority before using this device for patient care. Your monitor defibrillator may not include all the features demonstrated in this video. Take this opportunity to make sure you are aware of what features are available on your device. On the left side are the monitoring parameters. 3, 5, and 12 lead ECG options with interpretation and measurements. Massimo set rainbow technology with pulse oximeter based carboxyhemoglobin or SPCO as well as met hemoglobin or SPMET measurement. Non-invasive blood pressure capability from Wellchall and ProPAC line. Iridian microstream and tidal CO2 or capnography which can be used on both intubated and non-intubated patients. The 80 millimeter printer can print a large amount of data. The cabling and connections on this side have low profile connectors making them less obtrusive and more durable. The rainbow Massimo cables and sensors temperature and invasive blood pressure are backwards compatible with other Zoll devices. The right side includes a USB communication port critical care monitoring, and electrical therapies. Two temperature YSI connectors can be used with esophageal, rectal, or surface temperature monitor probes. Three invasive blood pressure channels with six pin cable connectors except the most commonly used transducers for invasive measurement of blood pressure. And a multifunction cable port for electrical therapies. On the back of the device is a sure power battery and an auxiliary power connection which, when plugged in, can power the device and trickle charge the battery. On the front, the power button is located on the top of the device. The ready for use indicator can be found on the top right corner of the front panel. The RFU indicator gives you an immediate indication if the device is ready for use without turning on the monitor or waiting for power up. It shows the status of the unit based on the most recent readiness check. A black circle indicates the unit is ready. A red circle with a line through it indicates that the unit's readiness has been compromised and that it may not be ready for therapeutic use. The LED indicators are red, yellow, and green lights located on the top of the unit. They are visual alarm indicators. They flash on and off when the unit is powered up and are used to indicate a patient alert, equipment alert, and data transfer. The auxiliary power LED illuminates when the unit is plugged into an auxiliary power adapter. The battery LEDs indicate the battery status. Steady yellow indicates battery is charging. Steady green, battery is charged. Alternating green and yellow, the charge state cannot be determined or a battery charging fault has been detected. No light means a battery is not installed. The front of the device has seven quick access keys along the left side. With these quick access keys, you can perform 80% of all functions with no more than two button pushes from the home screen. These include lead select, 12 lead ECG, end title CO2, code markers, sync for cardioversion, print, and an arrow leading to the second page of quick access buttons. Page two buttons include a tri-mode display, invasive blood pressure, alarms, log, and settings. There are seven permanent keys along the right side, including your home button, alarm suspend, primary navigation keys, snapshot, and NIBP button. The therapy keys are located along the bottom of the device. Similar to other devices, the keys are color-coded, red for defibrillation and green for pacing. The steps for defibrillation are clearly labeled one, two, and three for ease of use. This device has three functional screen modes, color, black on white, and night vision goggle mode when configured. The alarm menu key will allow you to access the alarm functions. All patient data can be accessed by pressing the log menu key. The setup menu key allows you to change the minor configuration options related to ECG, display, volume, and printer trends. It will also let you run tests on specific operational functions. There is a supervisor menu which is password protected. The supervisor can revise and change the major configurations. The more, back, or curved arrow key lets you toggle between two pages of quick access keys. 
It also allows you to exit the quick access menu altogether. The lead select key will let you quickly change the monitoring lead. The 12 lead key accesses the 12 lead monitoring capabilities. The CO2 key activates or deactivates capnography. The treatment markers, also called code markers, provides multiple options. Two pages with five options per page and are custom configurable. Treatment markers must be pre-configured in the supervisor menu. When pre-configuring, a service may select from a preset list or manually enter any label of their choice. The sync key synchronizes a shock with the R-Wave on the patient's ECG in order to deliver synchronized cardioversion. The printer or recorder key either stops or starts the printer. The alarm suspend key temporarily silences alarms or acknowledges functional alarms. Examples are ECG lead off or pulse ox cable off, etc. The home button toggles through three screens, including the multi-channel home screen, vital trends screen, and a large numeric screen with quantitative values. The multi-channel home screen is custom configurable to display up to four traces, any combination of ECG and physiological waveforms, including end-tidal CO2, pulse ox, invasive blood pressure, and real-time CPR feedback. The large numeric screen shows enlarged numbers for improved visibility. The three key cluster of navigation keys is used to move the blue indicator on the screen to select options. The snapshot key captures 24 seconds of data, 12 seconds prior and 12 seconds after the key is pressed. This gives you the ability to go back 12 seconds in time to capture significant events. The NIBP key initiates or aborts a single blood pressure assessment. Thank you for taking the time to watch this in-service video. For detailed information on the monitoring capabilities, please review the separate modules.